Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. They have given a six digit number of the form XYZ XYZ for any choices of values of X, Y and Z. We are supposed to find if the value is divisible by 7, 11 and 13. There is actually a proof where a six digit number formed by XYZ XYZ is divisible by 1001 for any values of X, Y and Z. And 1001 in turn is the product of 7, 11 and 13. Now if you knew this proof already well and good you can arrive at the answer in seconds but if you didn't know the proof earlier we can arrive at the answer by checking with divisibility rules. First let us check the divisibility rule for 11. We know that the divisibility rule of 11 is nothing but the sum of the digits in the odd places minus the sum of the digits in the even places should be equal to 0 or 11. So now if you notice in this six digit number the odd places are x, z and y, so x plus z plus y minus the even places are y, x and z. Now this equals 0 which means the given 6 digit number is divisible by 11. Let us check for 7 next. Let us assume random values for x, y and z. I am assuming 1, 2, 0. So the 6 digit number would be 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. To check the divisibility of 7, the rule is to multiply the last digit with 2 and subtract it from the rest of the digits. We have to repeat this process until we get a smaller number. If that smaller number is divisible by 7, we can conclude that the whole number is divisible by 7. So the first step is to multiply the last digit 0 with 2 and subtract it from the rest of the digits that is 1 2 0 1 2. So subtracting that we get 1 2 0 1 2 again. We should repeat this process. So the last digit 2 is multiplied with 2 which gives us 4. Subtracting 4 from the remaining digits 1201. So 1201 minus 4 we get 1197. Repeating this process once again, the last digit 7 is multiplied with 2, that gives us 14. So we have to subtract 14 from the remaining digits, 119. 119 minus 14 would give us 105. We know that 105 is divisible by 7. 105 divided by 7 gives us 15. With this, we can say that 120120 is divisible by 7 and hence xyz xyz is also divisible by 7 for any values of x, y and z. The last divisibility rule to check is for 13. Let's take the same random value 120120. To check if a number is divisible by 13, we have to multiply the last digit by 4 and then add it to the rest of the digits in the value. This process is repeated until we get a smaller value and if that smaller value is divisible by 13, we can conclude that the whole value is also divisible by 13. So the first step in this example is to multiply 0 with 4 and add it to the remaining digits 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, which will make no difference because 0 multiplied with 4 will produce 0 again. The next step is to multiply the last digit 2 with 4 and add it to the rest of the digits 1, 2, 0, 1. So 2 4s are 8, we are adding 8 to 1201 which would give us 1209. The last digit here is 9. 9 fours are 36. Now we have to add 36 to 120 which will give us 156. Now it's clear that 156 is divisible by 13 because 156 by 13 will give us 12. With this we can conclude that 120120 is divisible by 13 and hence xyz xyz is also divisible by 13 because for any values of x, y and z you'll get a value that is divisible by 13, 11 and 7. So option D is the right answer.